Okay, so second in the series here. Um, this is, uh, we discussed at the end of class on Thursday, A minor chords. And then, and thinking of A minor as a one, just using the number one to describe the A minor. And if we count upward in the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, the fifth chord away from the A minor would be some type of an E chord. In this case, it's going to be an E7. Again, we lead with our pointer whenever we put chords together, whenever possible, whenever it's the best choice. And we put our first finger, our pointer, on the first fret of the G string. This is a G sharp or an A flat, depending. Then the next string over is a C string. We're gonna put our middle finger, our second finger, on the second fret of the C string. That's a D note. G sharp, D note, an open E, our ring finger on the second fret of the A string, a B note. That's an E7 chord. That's the five, this is the one. And there are a lot of songs that just go one, Five, one. In this case, one is A minor and five is E7. Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Come have a party, we'll all dance the horror. Gather round the table, we'll give you a treat. Sivy fun to play with and latkes to eat. A minor and E7. If you're really struggling with that, or if you just want to kind of build up to it, you can just play one note of that chord and one note of the five chord. So you play one note of the A minor, this one, the A note, Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come, and then one note of the E7 chord, the G sharp, light the menorah, come have a party, we'll all dance the horror, gather round the table, we'll give you a treat. Sivivan to play with and latkes to eat works just fine. Okay, we're going to do one more short video, but now you know uh, A minor and E7, Roman numeral 1, Roman numeral 5.